everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with a review on my Chanel square mini in the chevron quilt and um, black caviar leather with silver hardware so I've had this for over a month um, a month and two weeks I guess um, since I purchased it but I've only been using it for about um, a little bit over a month and I've been using it almost every week and I absolutely love this little guy to bits. Um, main reasons because it goes with all my outfits, doesn't matter if I'm casual, fancy, business casual or whatnot, it'll go with everything. And it holds a, a good amount of stuff for its size, um, although I did have to downsize a lot. Um, when I use this bag, I do have to use a card holder most of the time, like a flat card holder. So, um, and, you know, I'm fine with that, but I just have to remind myself to, you know, if, if I'm going to, you know, use this, I have to remember or remind myself or ask myself if there are any cards I need to bring with me, um, and if I do, usually I will take my um, my zip around uh, O case, which is basically the matching, um, you know, wallet to this. But I find that if I wear, if I bring this with me, I'm gonna have to, um, you know, bring pack less stuff in my bag. So what I can pack very comfortable in this mini bag are obviously my flat card case my um sorry my clay that holds my keys my phone and um my travel vaseline um hand cream and one lipstick and then, um, if I really want to push it, you know, put in my oil, um, control little things from Clean and Clear. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then I would always have my Metro card in the back, um, pocket of my bag here. So those are, like, really the main things I can keep. Um, or actually the maximum things I can keep. Um, if I were to add this in there... It, it, was, it, it would be hard. Um, obviously, my clay would have to go with me for my keys and possibly my phone. And then I'm going to have to, you know, ditch the rest of the stuff because... So, basically, these three main big things are what can fit in it, sadly. Because um, I, think, I think of this bag kind of like an alma, like the shape of an alma. It has a big base. But as you go up closer to the top of the bag, it um, actually gets smaller and thinner here. So, you know, the more you fill it up top, you aren't going to be able to close this flap. Um, and that's what I found um, re really difficult about this bag at first. But once you, once I actually, like, got used to this bag and was using it more often, I just fell in love with it even more. And I actually found that, you know, over time, this leather will definitely stretch. Um, as you can see, the gussets or the sides here are really, really deep. They weren't really that deep before. They were actually a lot more straighter. Um, but now that I've used it and it's been in the sun a lot, it's been outside with me, um, I've been, you know, constantly touching it, it's definitely gone a lot softer. Like, I wasn't ever even able to squeeze it like this, but now I am. Um, and the sides have gone, definitely gone a little bit more wrinklier, so as you can see. But that's going to be the nature of the bag. Um, and I don't mind that, just as long as the bottom and the sides don't like sag and um you know just looks too mushy i don't like my bags to look too mushy um and that's what i like about this year this um this season's model of this bag um because it's in chevron it doesn't um 
I don't know, I just find that the quilting is a lot more stronger, the puffiness is a lot more present, and the overall structure, it just gives this bag a lot better structure. I guess it's because there's not so much um, threading penetrating through the leather. It gives this, um, it just gives the leather a stronger look because, you know, if you've seen the, you know, the uh, classic quilted flap um, with the diamonds, there's a lot more, you know, um, detail that goes into it. So I, I think that just makes the leather a lot more softer. Um, but I haven't, you know, um, I haven't experienced anything like that yet. Um, and as you can see, the quilting here is very dimensional. It's v it's the qu the chevron like panels here. I guess you could say are very raised. Whereas like in the SLGs, the chevron isn't very raised. Um, pretty much flat, as you can see. Um, but I, th I think it's because they use a different type of maybe caviar leather. I'm not sure. All chevron leather um, pieces are pretty flat. But the bags are um, very uh, dimensional and, and puffy. And they're, I find that these bags are a lot, a lot more softer than the quilted. Um, I've, I, d I have felt the quilted um, square mini in store. And they were a lot more flatter. Um, so, and I, I just like the overall feel of this bag. It, it just feels more like a, not a heavy duty type handbag, but it just, it, ha it has a very good, like, feel in the hand. Not, I don't know how to describe it, but that's just how I feel. Um, now, the straps here, it's a pretty short, like, strap length. Um, a lot of people complain that the, um, the strap for the square mini is a lot more shorter than the rectangular mini, um, especially w wearing it crossbody is kind of a bit of a pain, but I, I actually, this actually f for me, because I have a smaller built frame, um, I'm, I'm 5'5", five five, um, but I'm, I think I'm kind of smaller framed, um, it fits a lot it fits pretty good um, at a pretty good height when I wear a crossbody. Now, keep in mind, I have a um, shorter upper body, sh shorter torso than I do legs. So, um, I, I think that's the reason why I, I like using this as a crossbody bag. I do sometimes wear this on my shoulder, just like so. But I don't like the fact that this bag, you know, because it's so light and so small, I find it like just whips around um, my body like this when I'm walking and I don't want that to keep happening or else it'll just like bang into random things and it has um, for the, the handful of times where I did wear it single strap on the shoulder it was bouncing all over the place and hitting people and getting in the way so I always 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 uh, wear this bag as a crossbody and I actually think this looks pretty nice um, as a crossbody and I have seen pictures on you know Instagram and Google of you know people wearing this bag with um, that that sits up a lot more higher when crossbody and I actually think that looks pretty good I think with this size handbag you can get away with it but it's all like everyone's personal preference um, so yeah and I haven't really real um, I don't see any wear and tear obviously like there's like hairline scratches along the hardware but on the leather not so much now the back here because this is a flap and when you you know open the flap up you're gonna regardless no matter how good you take care of this bag you're going to eventually see wrinkles here and wrinkles here it's like that in all the flaps um even like with louis vuitton pieces with the flaps especially like the sarah wallet you will see some like creases um right at this corner here um because it's it's not moving with the flap it's kind of like just stay there and you have to like 
crinkle it a little bit so over time I do see that it's gonna happen and even like on the corners here I feel that it has smoothened quite a lot here and here so I will you know once it comes to the one year mark I'm gonna have to be you know very very vigilant in these corners here um, and you know if it needs to be taken in for, for a pair then that's what's gonna happen so um, yeah um, and it is an all leather interior handbag and I love that about this a lot of mini handbags don't like usually don't come um, with leather interiors especially like classic like mini classic pieces I find don't come with leather interior so um, I'm really really happy that this does it just adds that extra oomph of luxury to the bag um, and I just think like Chanel really thought like they thought really or designed this bag really really well they paid a lot of attention to detail in this bag um, now another thing another con about this is um, because it's like leather interior you do have to be careful um, but uh, like be careful with like you know scratching it or your SLG scratching the interior of, of your bag however this bag can scratch up your items especially like metal or your um, or like an iPhone with the, the glass um, front because the underside of this knob is actually exposed inside this bag so you can see like right there that little shiny part that's the underside of this knob so if you have anything rubbing up against it like um like the metal hardware on your SLGs or your phone um, do take in consideration that you know it might scratch or those items might scratch the underside of this so um, what I do is I just turn it around and I have the underside of that knob facing onto the leather um, like the full leather part of the SLG or if my phone I'll um, on the to uh, I'll have the underside of that knob facing the um, facing the the back of the phone um, so that the screen won't get you know damaged um, but yeah that's pretty much about it um, oh also about also about the chain now I find it quite hard because it only comes with two holes here to loop to um, you know for the chain the chains to come through it's actually harder to you know wear this or kind of wear the chain in different ways because you're pretty limited um, so I'll just show you an example so if I want to, you know, wear this as a double chain, actually double chain is fine if you wear it like a double chain, it's fine. I think this is like okay, but I just don't like how, you know, this looks really awkward. I just, I don't, I don't think it looks complete. Um, and also there are times when you know, I don't know, it, it's, it's weird, this bag can get a little bit weird at times, um, like it's just hard, I don't know, it's harder to come up with different ways to wear this bag, um, obviously I would not wear it like this, but it's, because it doesn't have the extra four, uh, extra two holes, set, set of holes, um, it's harder to wear this in various different ways like you can with the um, jumbo the classic flaps or the walk the wall on chain so I just primarily wear this as a crossbody or on the shoulder and I'm fine with that um, I actually find when you do you know double up the chains or crisscross them you actually take up more space in the bag um, so which means you can't really hold much more things you have to minimize again um, so just be aware of that um, and the overall like wear and tear like it, it's definitely gone a lot softer um, so I'm gonna I think
think it's time for me to you know, take a break from this little beauty for, for the weekend because I have been wearing this like crazy all week long, um, almost basically almost every day since the weekend. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was uh, informative. Um, let me know if there's any other, you know, videos or what you want me to do featuring this little piece here. Um, be sure to check, um, you know, more photos of this little guy on my Instagram, my daily, my day-to-day -day use, uh, bags that I wear. Um, and, you know, what charms I will be pairing this, this guy up with. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My Instagram name is Catherine is a cat. I'll put my name down below. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a great, fantastic day. Bye bye.